America's number one adventurer, K-7, former United States secret agent who operated in 22 countries, on land, on sea, and in the air, brings you a story of today. Here is K-7. Thermite bombs are science's latest contribution to the horrors of war. These new bombs, which weigh less than two pounds, generate an instantaneous heat of 3,000 degrees, and their fire cannot be extinguished. A single bombing plane could drop more than 2,000 such bombs. Thermite does not explode to start its great heat, and therefore there is no sound to draw attention to the place of attack. It is a spy story involving this new terrible weapon, which John Holbrook introduces now. Thank you, K-7. The potential uses of thermite in war have been known for some time. Recently, however, such a new aerial bomb was perfected. As a result, a dangerous spy received orders to find out its secret. The spy's activities sent a high government official to Special Agent B-9 for assistance. Our story opens as the official outlines the case to B-9 and his assistant, Rita Drake. Special Agent B-9, you have never met me, but I think you know of my position in the government. Yes, I've heard of you many times. And we've seen your name in the newspapers. It is because my name may again appear in the newspapers that I've come here. I don't understand. Frankly, my coming to you is a last resort. A demand has been made upon me. If I agree, I betray my country. If I refuse, I will be ruined. My family's reputation wrecked. Be now, you've got to help me. My wife, this would break her heart. Suppose you tell us your story. If I can help you, I will. Thank you. I, I don't know just where to start. I, uh, about two years ago, my son became involved in, uh, well, some trouble that would have sent him to prison. He was innocent, but... You saved him. Is that what you want to say? Yes. He was... We don't need to know what he did or was accused of doing. Do we, B-9? No, I hardly think so. Is your son being blackmailed now? If it were only blackmail, I would pay B-9. Oh, I know that is a foolish statement, but I'd pay to protect my wife. B-9, I am the one who is being blackmailed. Have you heard of our new thermite bomb? Yes, of course. Its development has been carefully guarded. The thermite bomb is a weapon that might easily win a war. It's inexpensive, weighs less than two pounds. Thousands could be dropped on a city at one time. Even a great port like New York might be destroyed in a single air raid. Yes, I know its possibilities. I know the secret of the new thermite bomb. And unless I turn it over to a spy within 48 hours, my reputation is to be blasted. My son's career, my wife's happiness, everything is at stake. Oh, but you can't sell out your country. Well, then what? What would you do? Has this spy been in direct contact with you? She has called on me every day. She's not bluffing benign. She has the evidence against my son. So it's a woman. And a woman usually carries out her threats. What's her name? Lota Rowan. Her home is next to the embassy of the country she serves. Will you help me, Agent B-9? I'll do what I can. First, I want to check on this woman. Then Rita and I will call on her. I'll have a report for you tomorrow. Agent B-9's first act was to send a cable to Special Agent K-7. Within an hour, his answer came back by transatlantic telephone. Hello? New York calling Agent B-9. This is Agent B-9. One minute, please. This is Special Agent K-7 speaking. K-7, do you know this woman, Lota Rowan? Yes, very well. She is a dangerous spy. Blackmail is her specialty. She has always been successful. Before arresting her, make sure of your case. Otherwise, certain influential men may come to her aid and prevent a conviction. She is dangerous, B-9, and shrewd. later, B-9 and Rita stood before the door of Lota Rowan's home and rang the doorbell. 
Do you think she'll see you, B-9? She'll see us all right. Whether or not I can force her hand is another matter. Someone's coming. Yes? What do you want? Miss Rowan? I am Miss Rowan. I would like to come in and talk to you, Miss Rowan. I am Special Agent B-9. This is my assistant, Miss Drake. I see. Come in. Now, perhaps you will explain why I'm so honored. I'll come to the point at once. Unless you leave the country within 24 hours, you will be deported. <laughs> my dear special agent, you amuse me. On what charges will you deport me? On the charges of spying. Which, of course, you are prepared to prove. Which I am fully prepared to prove. You have 24 hours. Thank you for your warning. Now, you listen to me. Your superiors should have told you that Lota Rowan cannot be threatened. If you think I'm lying to you, investigate. Go to whomever employed you to come here and deliver that message. Perhaps you will find that this is not a bluff. <laughs> Perhaps. Mr. Special Agent, let me give you some advice. The contents of my safe involves officials in every branch of your government. No one, including the Intelligence Department, would dare to move against me. Now get out. Very well. You've been warned. We'll leave, Rita. And don't ever come back. If you want proof of my power, I'll give it to you right now. The rearmament bill, which comes up before the ministers next week, will be defeated. Why? Because some of them don't dare let it go through against my wishes. <laughs> Good night. B-9 realized he faced a dangerous opponent, a blackmailer who possessed power so great she could influence every department of the government. Threats didn't frighten her. Instead, they drove her to ruthless action. Within three minutes after B-9 and Rita left her house, she telephoned the official who had brought him into the case. This is Lota Rowan. Yes, what do you want? A man who calls himself Special Agent B-9 has just called on me. I suspect that you sent him. Uh, that is not true. I have never heard of him. Whether you have or not doesn't interest me. You come here tonight and bring the new thermite bomb with you. Do you understand? What the... But I can't get one of the bombs this afternoon. I said to be here with a bomb tonight at 10 o'clock. If you're not tomorrow, I'll ruin you. At 10 o'clock. This is your last warning. That night... B-9 and Rita stopped their car a short distance from the spy's home. Then B-9 picked up a burglar's kit from the floor of the car and prepared to leave. I want you to stay here in the car, Rita. I may be gone for some time. Don't take any chances. I'm sorry, but this time I've got to. If possible, I'm going to break into that house and either open Lota Rowan safe or force her to open it. But B-9, you could be arrested. I don't think Lota Rowan would call the police. She might. It's a chance I'll have to take. Her safe contains enough evidence to blackmail a hundred officials, to ruin their families and their government. That evidence has got to be destroyed. You watch the front of the house and wait for me, no matter how long I'm gone. Be careful. About 20 minutes passed. Then Rita saw another figure going toward the house. It was the government official who asked B-9 to help him. He mounted the steps and paused before the front door. You're late. It uh, was impossible for me to come earlier. Come in. We'll go into the library. I'll put the lights on. You brought one of the small thermite bombs, as I told you to? Uh, you, uh, you've got to give me more time. I've given you all the time you're going to get. Unless you have the thermite bomb with you, I'm going to release the information I have tomorrow morning. That's all I have to say to you. But, uh, I warned you. Good night. Uh, wait. I have it. So you thought you'd put something over Give it to me. Not until you have given me the evidence you have against my son. Do I look that stupid? The evidence I have is in this safe, and that's where your thermite bomb is going. But you're not going to get away from me. You're too useful. Give me that bomb. Wait. It's in my pocket. Here. Thank you. How does it work? Perhaps you'll let me show you how. Agent Vinay. How did you get in here? How I came is not important. Hand me that bomb, Miss Rod. Give it to me, or I'll use this revolver. I warned you this afternoon, Agent D-9. You warned me that you had enough information in this safe to blackmail a hundred officials. But in another minute, this safe will be destroyed. That bomb, please. 
Thank you. It won't do you much good. Oh, yes, it will. This thermite fire bomb burns at a heat of more than 3,000 degrees. You forgot that thermite eats its way even through steel. What are you doing? I'm placing it here on top of your safe. When I release the trigger, it'll burn through the safe. It'll destroy everything in it, and the house, too. But before I do, I repeat this afternoon's warning, Miss Rod. This bomb will destroy your power. You have 24 hours to leave the country. You fool! The information in that safe is worth millions. And in 20 seconds, it'll be destroyed. Your career as a blackmailing spy is over. Run for your lives. I'm releasing the bomb trigger. Rhoda Rowan was allowed to leave the country. If she had faced trial, it was thought certain officials might have become involved. She is still active and has been called Europe's number one secret diplomat. Red hair, slanting eyes, and a pale complexion are her diplomacy. She is one of the world's most dangerous agents. Before this series ends, she may be heard from again. Listen for my next story. This is K7 speaking.